In order to operate the system, the very first panel that you will always use to open and close the system will be on one or both of your extreme ends. You do not start the system in the center. You will always start it, as I mentioned, on one or both of the extreme ends. In this particular configuration, we split the system. We have X amount of the panels going towards the right and X amount of the panels going towards the left. In this also configuration, imagine that this is the exterior of the room and we are standing on the interior of the room. We could have designed the system to open towards us, towards the interior or towards the exterior on the right hand side, on the left hand side, whatever makes the most sense for you on the day to day flow in terms of does it make more sense to have the option of somebody entering and exiting on the extreme left hand side, the right hand side, coupled with furniture layouts, things like that. Do you have a tendency to want to enter and exit on certain ends? What's gonna make the most sense for you as the end user? That's the best way to think about where you want those panels to end up. So as we operate the system, we must open the very first panel. There are different locking mechanisms that can be used on the system. Traditionally, the system will come like this without anything floating on the glass. It's not required to have any hardware on the panel, but we do have different handles, knobs, etc., to choose from should it be more practical for you in your situation. So we have different slide locks, handles, knobs, etc. Once that's unlocked, it will release panel number one, the opening panel. Once the opening panel is in the 90 degree position, it will lock into position using our magnetized door stops for two reasons. Reason number one is so that the panel doesn't over rotate past a 90 degree, which puts a lot of unnecessary pressure on the interior parts. So it stands at a 90 degree. And also with the magnetized door stop, if it's a gusty day or a windy day, you don't have panels flailing around. They're all locked in position. So once this one is completely open, you're then free to use the rest of the system. As you can see, I've opened up the other remaining panels and these two panels will magnetize to each other as well. So not only is the first one magnetized, the other ones get magnetized to there, so everything gets locked when it's in the open position. As you notice, each panel operates independently of one another. So say it was a day where maybe it's in during the course of the morning or in the afternoon, and instead of opening up your entire system, you'd like to have a little bit of an air gap or breeze to come through. You don't necessarily want to open the entire system. So because the panels operate independently, you can choose whether you're entertaining and you want to open up the whole system. You want to create those partial air gaps in between. Or if you wanted to, you could slide some of the panels down and create an opening in the center. Whatever, again, makes the most sense for you on a day to day. And I will also show you different photographs during the course of this video, which will show how the configurations of the system can be done in terms of fully open, partially open, half open, etc. You choose however many you'd like to open and close. All the panels will stack tightly on the side. They take about one inch per panel. So in this scenario, we've opened three panels. We're gonna lose about three inches or so on the end. The rest of my opening is nice and wide. 